Today we are hunting the world's largest antelope, better known as the eland. Anders kan ons ons kan afklim en in die bos en loop en so deur. Ja. Yes, eland can be very, very elusive, right? Really? Yes. Nice oh, going, thanks. <laughs> are you on the tracks? Yes, I'm on the tracks now. All right, thank you, chum. That one is power. <laughs> no power. Power. Don't break my radio. Uh, yeah. We're ready. Let's do this, baby. Mm. So we're just gonna walk up this road where the owner of the property has recently spotted the eland. We're gonna see if he's there. If he's not there, we'll go on a fresh track and see if we can find him somewhere. Should be closed, it wasn't too long ago. Uh, but let's go see if we can get on that bull. track coming in in the morning. Let's go back to that track and see where it takes us. All right, John, just walk up the road. You'll find us here. I need your help. Okay. I can see there was a lot of guineas and they just messed up the whole track. I couldn't pick up anything around it, but I have these tracks crossing the road over here and a little ways back. Just want to make sure Get some fresh eyes on it and see see what he thinks. Shortly after Chum picked up the tracks, we looked up to see him pointing and telling us to hurry over. Chum told us he bumped into the eland. It was a bad wind and he took off running. follow the Elan's track for the next two or three miles with no siding. So we walked back to the truck to get some water while Chum stayed on the track. It's been rough. It's been rough. They got us out here sweating. It's hot out here. But we'll get there. That road that I saw you last, is it you just to make a U-turn and then you face the other direction? In other words, while we were back at the truck, Chum spotted the eland jump a fence, so we needed to make a move on him. Yes, I'm on the trip now. All right, thank you, Chum. Oh, that, that bottom, the one just below. That one is power. <laughs> no power. Power. Don't break my radio. <laughs> After a few more miles on the track, we knew that we had to be getting close. Next thing you know, he was 100 yards looking right at us. Another shot in. Wait, wait, wait. Good job. Wait. This is the one to the right, I'm sure. Yep, he's down. <laughs> what a day. What a day. What a day. We worked hard for this one. <laughs> you. Right. Big animal. Golly. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Yeah. 
Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Pick it up. Thank you. Get the mass on those horns. Jeez. <laughs> what a big animal. Well done, lady. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> I'm just glad we got this bull down and uh, we did work very hard for him. I helped uh, Justin come to a decision on taking an eland. Yesterday when I first saw, uh, showed him an eland, he said, well, it's kind of like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, it's like a cow, but way more clever and elusive than a yes, cow. <laughs> yes, very. But uh, yeah, it made us work for it. We got on him and uh, you did the rest, so congrats once again. Thank you. Well done. Time to break my truck in half. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. After spending an entire day chasing the eland, it made the success beyond rewarding, not just for me, but for everybody involved. Especially for our PH Martin, the trackers, even this camera guy we call Gage that was there with me. His name is Gage, right? Got on the track, ended up finding him, piled up in there about 60 yards and... Who let him go hunting? 